trying to find the MIDI flow through Aria. And I thought I'd start with a simple test to use AUM as a source. And I'm going to use Photon, which is playing a little sequence here. And then if you look at MIDI source, MIDI, the MIDI sources available, you'll see Aria. I'm playing, I'm using an iTrack dock and the various other destinations. Um, if I turn this off, let me go back to Aria. Go to a channel. Let's select a drum kit. We hear nothing. We're on all. Network session, nothing. Of course, nothing here. So, okay, so right now, we're getting nothing into ARIA because nothing is selected in AUM. So let's go to AUM. Let's select network, network, network connection. Go back to ARIA. Select network connection, network session. We still have nothing. Let's go back to AUM. Let's turn that off. Let's select ARIA virtual connection. As you can hear, it's working. But also, we have ARIA set as network session. Will it work as all? Yes, it works as all, and it works as network session. This is the input to the instrument, obviously. So, it looks like, and I don't know if this is AUM or ARIA, but selecting network, selection, network session as an input doesn't do anything. So, that's part one of just trying to learn how to uh, best use the various inputs of, and flow of MIDI, on, uh, MIDI and audio. So when you're coming in, oh, and another thing, if you look at the settings, go to MIDI, there's nothing here apparently that has to be set in order to receive what apparently appears to be a virtual send to ARIA that's not network session but works on network session and is not visible here in any other way. I guess that's the way that's supposed to be. I don't know. Um, but uh, if someone else understands this, then I'd like to know at this point what that means. Like, is, is this supposed to work? Is sending this to network session and then having network session selected in ARIA supposed to work? Or is this somehow virtually the same thing? So that's part one. I don't really know what to do with that information. And with the same basic setup, if we go back to uh, AUM, start this again, you can see that it's the virtual input to ARIA as the network session doesn't do anything, so we're going to use this. And if we go back to ARIA, uh, let's see, track one should be working, what happened? Ah, uh, there we go, okay. So we're in the same setup. We've got this running in Photon. Photon is sending to Aurea vir via the virtual send to its destination. Destination's here, origin's here. Um, so then we go back to Aurea. It's working. I just happened to have the track set to the same same track, which obviously you can do. 
can set it to all, does the same thing. It happens to be transmitting on channel one, and channel selection does work. You only get the channel that it's sending on, so it's sitting on one. But the other thing to notice here is that uh, all these, the quantize and the parameters for MIDI editing, the non-destructive MIDI editing, do not affect an input in this, when it's, when it's done this way. This has to come off of the track, it has to come off of the sequencer track within Aurea for this to be effective. The same with the, uh, with this, the sequencing, uh, the uh, quantizing rather. Now levels and pan does, Le levels and pan are, uh, are active for MIDI, but not these parameters here, something to to notice, to make note of. And again, it's the same if they're loaded in the slots here. You also bypass this. In order for these to work, you've got to be on the timeline. What comes from the timeline will pass through these effects. Just another note. Okay, now in this case, I've put Photon in the stack And that is before the port. So if you change the MIDI channel, it affects it. The input has to look at the port or all. See, that's this is the track one photon. Anything else, and it doesn't work. Um, again, as I said, these have no function, and nor does this, but this does, still. Now, all things being the same, I've added AudioVeek's Piano Roll MIDI recorder, or yeah, MIDI recorder here, and it, it does not block the uh, signal flow, apparently. And it will record. And it passes the MIDI through, as you can hear. If we take that out. And again, still, none of this works but it should be going to the track. So let's check the track to make sure. Let's check the track. Put this in record ready, go back, record. Stop it, have a look, and there it is. So that works, that's, uh, that's a nice thing to have to work with there. And you can note here that since it's playing back from the timeline, you now have your MIDI parameters in quantize functioning. And of course this works still. So you can uh, get control over all these, which is wonderful. Just to let you know,